Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly with Trevor Daly Photography out in Arizona. I'm a wedding photographer and guys, when I'm shooting portraits of people, I want to make sure that the eyes and everything else, the details are there, but that I'm not sharpening too much of the skin tone. So for example, I want to sharpen the eye, sharpen the lips, sharpen the ears, but I don't want to sharpen the cheeks. Now, of course, you can go in there with an adjustment brush and try to sharpen all the eyes and everything else, but let me show you guys an easier way to do this, okay? So let's go ahead and, and from this session with Tiffany and Dan, we're going to go ahead and hit D to go into the a photo here. Now with this photo, what I want to do, let me go ahead and collapse this menu so you guys can see where I'm at. Under these menus over on the side, I'm going to open up the detail menu. Now under detail, we have this, these sliders, the sharpening, radius, detail, etc. I'm not going to get into all of them today, guys, because I like to keep these videos short. But what I want to do is I'm going to pull up the sharpening, the amount. So this is basically the intensity, okay? Now once that's up, I'm going to come over here to masking. Now this is, this is the tip that I want to leave with you today. With the masking, what it does is basically when you pull this slider up, it's going to not sharpen where the, the, like the skin tones or where areas where there's very similar colors. It's going to instead look for those edges, the eyes, the, you know, the fine hair, things like that. Now, it's hard to see, right? So here's the tip. If you just hold down the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on the PC and then use this slider, you can actually see exactly where it's sharpening and where it's not. So as I pull this up, you can see it's masking out the black. In other words, it's not sharpening where it's black, but it's sharpening where it's white. You see that? Let's just grab another image so we can, we can see it again here. So here we go. We got my sharpening up. I'm going to take my masking slider. Let's start at zero. And I'm going to hold down Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC. And I'm going to pull this, drag this up. So right now it's pretty much sharpening everything. I mean, everything that's white. Now, as you see, as I pull this up, look at how it starts to mask certain areas. In other words, not sharp, sharpen those areas. So the black areas are not getting sharp. The white areas are. Okay. So you can see it's a great little tool, especially when you're doing portraits. Here, I'll do it one more time here. Pull the sharpening up, okay? And then I'll just option on the Mac, Alt on the PC. And again, where it's white, it's getting sharp. Where it's black, it's not. So you can see on our forehead, on our cheeks, things like that, it's not bringing out any details, any kind of uh, wrinkles, pores, anything like that. Now, fortunately, Tiffany had absolutely beautiful skin, but it's a great little tool. It's a great way of being able to sharpen your photos and not have to worry about sharpening things you don't want to sharpen. So especially, like I said, for a portrait or wedding photographer like myself, I love being able to sharpen those images, but, not, but know that these areas here are not going to get that sharpening. So hopefully this tip was useful, guys. If it was, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try to put these videos out every, about every week and usually on Thursdays. So hopefully you enjoy. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.